I was uh, a diplomat in the 1960s. And I was so fortunate because I was there to see the beginning of the Green Revolution, the single greatest period of food production and hunger reduction in human history. And as Dr. Borlaug would say, the problem is we have to do it again. At a time of the climate volatility, climate changing that's going on, scarcity of water, uh, and can we meet these global challenges? Can we apply science? Do we have the will to do this? If, if Dr. Borlaug were here, he was a no-nonsense guy who would uh, always want to tell it to you straight and in short sentences, he'd say, number one, research. We have to put the money into public research and private research because science is the multiplier of the harvest. And he said, let science lead us. And that, secondly, he would say, we have to inspire the next generation. We have to get young people so that they are going into these fields. They're going into the research, that they want to work on these global issues, on these global challenges. That's for the 21st century. Uh, the third thing he would say is, there's not any more land. We can't cut down the rainforest to get more land. And so what we have to learn is how can we produce more food on the same amount of land? And finally, he would say, if you want to uplift Africa, if you want to uplift people out of poverty, build roads. This is where Dr. Borlaug and I, we're two pretty different people. He was a scientist and a farm boy. I'm a city boy and diplomat but we both understood the power of rural roads as a key to delivering the science, delivering the extension, uplifting people out of poverty. You know, certainly now, more than ever, we're coming to see how all these issues fit together. It used to be the soil scientists would meet separately, the nutritionists would meet separately, they'd all work on their same thing, but now you see they are interrelated, that you have to work through the value chain from the farm gate to the plate. You have to build those structures. You need the business mechanisms. You need the wholesalers. You need the roads with the trucks to move the crops uh, to market. And so it is in this interrelated sense uh, that is the, uh, the way to uplift the small holder. And that's what the World Food Prize Borlaug Dialogue has been about for the last 16 years. And that can we get the CEOs of these companies together with the ministers, with the research scientists, with the nutritionists, they all need to be talking to each other. And that's where the connections gets made. That's where the innovations come from.